So the Sacramento Kings of this offseason didn't make any like groundbreaking move like they did at the 2022 trade deadline with the Sabonis trade, but they made some nice moves to help them try to compete for a playoff spot in 2023. So what is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Now the offseason isn't fully over yet, but they added guys like Keegan Murray, Kevin Herter, Malik Monk this offseason. I'm very excited about Keegan Murray and what he kind of showcased throughout the summer league because he was one of the league's best players there. I'm excited about Malik Monk, Kevin Herter getting much needed shooting on the perimeter uh, because Davion Mitchell, who can be still a good shooter in this league, but we know De'Aaron Fox isn't the greatest shooter. And yeah, we're going to be rebuilding uh, the Kings today, like I said. So this is definitely going to be the starting five. I want Mitchell, Monk off the bench, Terrence Davis, and Rashawn Holmes, I guess we'll wrap out the rotation. I don't really need to play Keon Ellis, Casey Okpala. Jemisey Matu could get some run also um, if we wanted to play him instead of Trey Lyles. But yeah, I guess like it kind of sucks that uh, Rashawn Holmes kind of fell off a little bit. So say we went like 25 to Monk. Uh, we did like 28 to Mitchell, 30 to Sabonis. See, this is actually going to get tough kind of with the minute allocation. Um, we don't really need to play Terrence Davis, I think, just kind of with uh, Malik Monk and Kevin Herter here. So for Fox, we went 34. Say Sabonis, we went 33. Keegan Murray, we went 30 as a rookie. And then we did about 28 to Barnes, 27 to Herter. Uh, 28 to Mitchell off the bench. Yeah, so that is good with me. Um, I think this team could be set um, at point guard, at center, at power forward. I just don't know who's going to be the long term two. Is that going to be a Davion Mitchell role? But that's, I don't know if I want a six foot guard there as the two. We could try it out. Um, I don't think Monk or Herter is like the long term answer and Harrison Barnes, obviously. So there is a player that I think I will keep an eye on. And that is going to be OG Ananobi of the Toronto Raptors because uh, he's been in a couple trade kind of conversations this offseason. And I think he could be a uh, a valuable guy to, would be on this team as a 3 and D guy uh, potentially now this is a deal that could potentially make sense I think his value will be a little bit lower when he is um, in the final year of his contract in the offseason so I'm going to revisit it then so yeah under Mike Brown just for system proficiency with three star balance I'll see you guys at the end of the offseason and I would like to at least be a playing uh, playing tournament team at the minimum. Okay, so yeah, the goal was to be in the playing tournament, and we are. We are the eight seed, so we just need to win one playing tournament game, um, and we'll have two. So uh, there is a good chance that we could make the playoffs. I'm hoping this team doesn't kind of squander in the playoffs, but we will see what happens here, at least in the tournament. We get nobody on an all NBA team, nobody on a defensive team, and we do get no. Oh no, we do get Keegan Murray on our rookie first team. And yeah, that was another reason why I wanted to go after OG and an OB because OG and an OB, we know how great of a defender he can be. And like from my front court. I like it long term. I like Sabonis and I like Murray. Uh, Sabonis can shoot. Not really a great defender. We'll see how Murray projects to be a great uh, or projects to be a defender in this game. But yeah, like Fox is a solid defender. Maybe Davion Mitchell ends up being the starting two, and he's a good defender. I think I need if I can like three elite defenders if my front court isn't really going to be picking up that slack defensively. But they'll be good scorers. Now, De'Aaron Fox averaged about 22.7 assists this year. He shot 35 from three. That is very nice to see out of De'Aaron Fox. Sabonis, ooh, he struggled. Oh my god. Okay, Sabonis was pretty bad for us this year. He's going to be going into a contract year next year, so that's also good to see. Kevin Herter shot 38 from 3. Davion Mitchell shot 36 from 3. Malik Monk 36 from 3. Uh, that was probably Barnes' last year in Sacramento. It's been a minute since he's been here. Um, Rashawn Holmes will probably look to trade him in the offseason just to maybe get off some of that cap space or just get off that cap. All right, so let's see what happens here against the Suns. We will alter this rotation just a tad bit. Um, let's see who I want to play more. Probably Rashawn Holmes going to get like 15 15 minutes a night uh we're gonna go like 35 to sabonis probably 37 to fox so we're just gonna play them a little bit more can we beat the suns and we do and we are the seventh seed let's go that's what i'm talking about fox at 26 and 10 herder with 24 points he had six threes mitchell with 20 and sabonis um one point away from a triple double all right so let's see who we're taking on in the playoffs it is the new orleans pelicans now i don't have too much confidence that we're gonna beat them but hey you know what at least the kings are in the playoffs for the first time since what like 2004 or 5 um it's been a minute now we do lose game one by eight points as long as we can put up like competitive games here i mean fox with 37 points yeah and we can see like fox become like a star for us uh before our eyes as we win game two by 25 fox with 31 13 and 5 holy crap deer and fox is blowing up and yeah sabonis has been great so far for us come on let's keep it rolling let's go up two to one damn uh we end up losing by eight so game one we lost by eight and game three we lost by eight uh davion mitchell at 27 points in this game uh fox shot three for eight did he foul out yeah he fouled in 17 minutes are you kidding me keegan murray has not shot well from the field but he has shot well from the line and from three as we do tie it up we win by nine points here sabonis with 26 13 and six he's showing that maybe he is deserving of this contract extension um we do get blown out in game five though unfortunately 
Game six, we end up winning. Let's go. Uh, De'Aaron Fox with 34, 6, and 9, or 34, 6, and 7, excuse me. Monk with 29, 4, and 4. Man, De'Aaron Fox averaging 26 points and 7 assists, as well as 4 rebounds. Can we beat them in 7 games? This would be kind of crazy if the Kings can upset the Pelicans, who are usually fantastic in the simulation. And we are having a very close game here. I don't think we're going to end up winning. Um, unfortunately, oh my god, we do win. Yep, reverse psychology, man. You literally just got to say, you don't think you're going to win, and I win every single time. And every time I think, like, we're going to pull it out we lose but holy crap what an upset wow fox had nine points in this game shout out to keegan murray with 23 sabonis with 22 chemezi metu with 20 and 7 off the bench where did that come from monk with seven assists where did that come from and yeah what an upset here so did the bucks they upset the sixers in round one wow both seven seeds beat the um two seeds all right so now we're taking on the golden state warriors who are the reigning nba champions ah another series that i don't really have a lot of hope but i dear fox proved me wrong last series we lost by 13 here um we actually were pretty competitive throughout the first three quarters but then unfortunately we just had a really poor fourth quarter uh we do go down two games to zero we end up losing by 13 here fox had 30 and an l um two to one okay so we're not gonna get swept we blow them out fox with 43 barnes with 30 wow barnes is actually playing really well for us in the playoffs i mean maybe we can bring him back on like a more cheaper affordable contract but we'll see he also might need to be used in a sign and trade um i, I gotta stop talking about the offseason man because we are really performing well right now sabonis 16 10 and 6 22 and 10 for murray and game six. oh my god we forced the game seven holy crap fox with 32 7 and 8 <laughs> <laughs> or the Sacramento Kings gonna go to the conference finals in year oh my goodness we're blowing them out holy crap we are currently up by 17 are we gonna blow this or are we actually gonna go to the conference finals oh we're blowing it oh my god we're blowing it no 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 oh my goodness we win holy crap these Sacramento Kings with an insane first quarter are now going to the conference finals in year one to take on the one-seeded Dallas Mavericks what it's the Harrison Barnes revenge series and we win game one what is going on Oh my god, uh, am I peaking in year one? We're up 2-0. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Can we go up three games to zero? Holy crap, we're gonna go to the NBA Finals with this team. What? We are overachieving. I, I mean, like, I'm not too surprised we beat the Pelicans. Very surprised we beat the Warriors. And we're about to sweep the Mavericks. Don't blow a 3-0 lead. Okay, I got too confident. Yep, there it is, and we're gonna lose in seven. Oh my god, we actually won in seven. Holy crap. <laughs> We have won every single game in seven so far. That is insane. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. Fox averaged 21 and 8 in the conference finals. Um, anybody else average close to 20? Not really. Um, yeah, Fox went off against the Warriors. He averaged 26 and 6. And then in round one, I also want to see what he averaged 23 and 7. Or 24, you could say. Here we go. We're taking on the Atlanta Hawks. It's the Kevin Herter Revenge Series. Can we defeat them and win the NBA Finals? We do lose game one. We win game two. Down two to one. Tied two to two. Hold Holy crap, we're up three to two, and the Sacramento Kings are going to another game seven. I mean, what, are, what were the betting odds on this to go to seven games this series? Minus like 10,000. Um, clearly, I guess 2K just wants me to go into seven game series. Um, we are currently down by three. It's not looking good for us. I don't think we're going to win this game. I don't think we're going to win. Okay, this would actually be perfect to hop into. So you know what? Screw it. Let's try to win it in year one. All right, Kevin Herter just knocked down a free throw. Uh, do we want Herter in? I guess so. Yeah, he's got 20 points here. I was like, do I want to put in David Mitchell? DeJounte Murray with a terrible shot. I don't know why he took that. Keegan Murray rocking number 42. Is that his number in real life? It probably is. Um, Fox guarded by Trey Young. I mean, this should be a mismatch galore. Yeah, I haven't actually hopped into a game in forever. Uh, so let's hope I can do well here. Come on, we got a mismatch uh so bonus on young okay that was easy i mean herder would see perimeter d isn't great but like Dejounte murray i mean he is a good shot creator but it's like not like we have him on trey young who fox oh my god what am i doing what am i doing okay uh good thing trey didn't shoot that so fox guarding young a perimeter d we're good yeah give it a hunter that's fine barnes would be plus perimeter d i'll take that so hunter um i don't know what he's trying to do here i don't know what he's trying to do we are all over him we are all over him that's a tough shot no way it's okay De'Aaron Fox one of the fastest players in the league is that was just a dumb shot and how does Trey Young get that rebound over DeMonte Sabonis that was kind of silly um I should be guarding Trey Young good thing he passed that but Hunter misses that uh Herder can't guard his former teammate Jeez, we're down by five with four minutes ago I mean there is still plenty of time left in this game no way that's gonna get a block okay Fox gets the rebound over Okungwu love to see that Fox why are you it doesn't feel that fast we're running floppy for Kevin Herter here, so let's see if we can get him open and get a good shot. Yep, perfect. Let's go. Two-point game. I still can't believe, like, I build so such good teams sometimes. Like, you look at, like, the end of, like, the Blazers rebuild that I didn't win a championship or just, like, I don't know if I won in a Knicks one recently, but either way, like, how is this Kings team in the finals in year one as a seven seed and every single game has gone into seven games? That just doesn't make any sense at all. Hunter pulls up. Ah, oh, damn it. DeAndre Hunter is literally killing me. This is very frustrating. Okay, Fox. I kind of just want to... 
go around Trey Young. Like Trey Young, not a great defender. Fox, so much quicker. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get around him here. Uh, thought I was gonna be able to get that to go. Sabonis, are you kidding me? Let's see if we can get Keegan Murray um uh, open for a three here. I feel like I gotta mention Keegan Murray more. I really haven't talked about him too much in this video as I just don't get a good release off at all. Damn it. Trey Young for three. Oh, that's not good. Down by eight now. Damn it. All right, Fox inside. That should be easy money. John Collins for three. I have nobody getting a rebound here. No, 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 no. Herder, get that, please. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. Okay, this game is just not going my way at all right now. DeJounte Murray driving. Herder with great defense. Can we get the rebound here? Oh, of course not. Okungwu kicks it out to Trey. All right. Oh, he's got just no threes here. I can't really allow any more threes. Okay, Murray, and that's not good. Oh, my God. He missed the dunk, but he gets the rebound. God damn it. Um, No way he hits that either. Holy crap. Wow, we are getting, I guess, some luck, but also kind of unlucky here. Uh, Herder... Mm, Kind of pass it a little late. And I get stripped. Nice. Oh no, they're throwing an oop, and that goes in. Alright, let's try floppy again for Kevin Herter. Please get open. Yeah, Murray can't keep up with him. That's another three. Kevin Herter's been huge for us. He's got 26. Man, he kind of comes up in big games. Like he had that game against the Sixers in the 2021 playoffs. Oh my god, but as I say that, he gets a off-ball foul. Trey Young pulls up. I gave him too much space. Alright, sadly, it's looking like this game might be over. We are down by seven, and I'm just wasting so much time here. Like, I can't be wasting 10 seconds per shot clock. Um, 10 seconds plus, actually, just to get a three. So, if Herter misses this, it's probably over. Oh my goodness, this dude doesn't miss. He's got 29. Come on, come on, that's a five-second violation. What? Oh my goodness. Trey Young, I don't know. I guess we could foul, but, like, I don't know. I should try to steal it here. What am I doing? Just no threes. Um, let me send the double, actually. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Nope, nope. And he's still going to score. God damn it. Please don't score. There we go. Huge stuff. All right, so I would love another try at a herder three here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him open. I don't really want to fox through, but he does have, like, a great three-point rating. Oh, my God, he hits it. We're down by one. Holy crap, we're going to have a shot at least to send this to overtime. All right, so all we have to do is an immediate foul. I mean, if we can get a steal here, that would be insane, too, because then that would just be one of the most electric finishes ever. Nope. Okay, they get it to... Oh, I'd rather have sent Murray to the line. I mean, Trey, the odds he misses one is just, like, probably not going to happen. But we have plenty of timeouts. You know I'm going to Kevin Herter on a floppy set to try to send this to OT. All right, so let's get the ball to Fox. Uh, it's nice, because, like... I don't think Herter was hitting the next three I gave him just because... Okay, no, no, come on, come on. We gotta run this play quickly, quickly. Okay, we got eight seconds. Oh, no. Oh, no, this isn't good. Six, five. Okay, I think I have enough time. Why isn't he running? Okay, I, I will have enough time to get the shot off. And it's going to... Oh, my God, we lose. Damn it. Okay. Oh, I mean, I rushed that. I don't know if I should have did something off the inbound or just ran the 2K generated play they gave me. I effed up on that. God damn it. Oh, that hurts. Hey, it's going to give us motivation in the offseason. So yeah, unfortunately, the Hawks win it all. Uh, Trey Young is your finals MVP. In seven games, every series went to seven games. I really hope I didn't peak in year one. Was Dwight Howard a king at one point? He does go to the Hall of Fame. I don't know. I don't think he was. But yeah, like, remember, he was a Hornet technically. He was a Hawk. Um, but yeah, we will have our first round pick in this draft. I believe it's the 2024 draft that the Celtics, or excuse me, the uh, Hawks get it from the Herder trade. So hey, we were in the finals, and we have the 16th overall pick. Not too bad. Say Mike Brown did a really good job as our head coach in year one. All right, so it is the 2023 NBA draft. And like I said, we have the 16th overall pick. We could definitely use that. I also mentioned earlier in the video that I wanted to move Rashawn Holmes for a salary dump. All right, so I'm going to try to see if I can move Rashawn Holmes to the Thunder. I might have to throw in a little bit more in this deal. Um, and my 16th overall pick to try to move up to pick eight because I tried moving up to like 11, 12, 13, um, but none of the teams have cap space and I'm trying to like dish off as much cap space as possible. So if we did KZ Okpala, 16 and Rashawn Holmes to move up eight spots, they agree to that. So let's make our selection with the eighth overall pick. We could also look to move this pick for OG and Anobi, which you know what? I think I'm going to do. We are going to move OG or the eighth pick, a 2024 second for Mr. Anobi. So let's see who the Raptors took with that said pick. Uh, Brandon Miller, okay, out of Alabama. I've could have taken Kyle Filipowski. You know what? I'm not hating on myself too much. I think we actually made the right decision. Uh, we got Rocco Prakicin in the second round. He'll be a Euro stash, picking up the team option on Davion Mitchell. Uh, Keon Ellis, not going to extend the qualifying offer to. So, Terrence Davis, I am not bringing back. Harrison Barnes for $9 million when you don't really have cap isn't a terrible idea. Um, so, we're good at the ones, the twos. I think Harrison Barnes is a backup. Um, yeah, so what I want to do is I think bring back Harrison Barnes on a one-year deal for now. Um, I'll actually make it a two-year deal, but I'm making it not fully guaranteed for the second year. And I'd also like to, you know, bring back Jemezi Matu as a backup center. Um, or yeah, just basically a backup big. He's going to get a two-year deal as well, but that second year being a team option like Mr. Barnes's. Kristaps Porzingis joins the Indiana Pacers on a four-year deal. All right, so player progression. Uh, Fox regresses. What? 
Where did that come from? Murray's up to an 80. Barnes regresses. See, that's why I did the team option on the second year. Damn, Sabonis didn't go up, so he's probably peaked. So yeah, we have our pick lottery protected this year. That is from the um, Kevin Herter trade. So uh, let's see the lineup. It's probably going to look like that with Mitchell. Yeah, coming off the bench, Monk, Barnes, Metu. Um, I think Barnes is going to get about 17 minutes a night. We're going to go 19 to Metu. We're going to go about 23 to Monk, 27 to Mitchell, 33 to Sabonis. I like to go 30 to Murray, 31 to Endobi, and then that is actually all good with me. System proficiency is going to be three and a half star balanced. And yeah, let's see how we do, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Okay, so Luka Doncic is your MVP, Nick Smith, Rookie of the Year, Nishan Highland, Sixth Man of the Year, Giannis Depoy, most improved era on Sharp. Um, but yeah, we were the 18th this year, so we didn't get better, we didn't get worse than last year, which is kind of a downer. I mean, like, yeah, there wasn't a lot of progression, um, at least in the overall aspect that we saw in the offseason category, but like, I don't know, we did add... Um, OG and Anobi, I thought this team would have been a little bit better. We are taking on the Utah Jazz in round one. We'll see who they have on their team as here is the scoring allocation. Okay, not really sure what to do here with all this. I feel like there's probably a big move to be made. Like we have good supporting cast like Keegan Murray, OG and Anobi. Maybe there's a Sabonis sign and trade to be made this offseason. Maybe there's a Fox move. I don't know. We'll think about it then. Maybe we still make a crazy run. Do we beat the Jazz? Let me find out first. So Tremezi Metu... It's actually not too bad, but he and Barnes are going to get 15 minutes a night. I'm going to go 35 to Sabonis and 37 to Mr. De'Aaron Fox. Can we beat the Jazz who have Spencer Dinwiddie? They got Anthony Black out of Arkansas. He's been really good for them as a rookie so far. They have PJ Washington now, but we should beat them, and we do. Um, we beat them by five on the road, in a matter of fact. Okay. Um, OG at 23. Hey. So we're taking on the Thunder. It's the Rashawn Holmes Revenge series here. Uh, they haven't really added anybody. They brought back Steven Adams. So let's see. Can we maybe pull off an upset here? Um, as a 17, once again, we do lose by three in game one. Sabonis and Fox both went off. You know what? Let's simulate the current round. Let's see what we can do. And we end up losing in six. Okay, so um, you know what? This maybe brought us back down to earth. This is what we are. A fringe playoff team. Really not good. I think like last year was a fluke. It would have been nice to win a championship in the fluke. But um, yeah, I think I like can't get too complacent with this team and maybe that's what i did last offseason maybe just only adding ananobi wasn't the best idea russell westbrook heads into the hall of fame draft lottery like i said we will not be getting our first round pick that will be going to boston all right god damn it i keep saying boston i don't know why i guess it's because the brogdon and herder trades happened on like the same day i'll be dead the hawks will be getting in at 17 wow a lot of teams traded out of the first round well the number one pick technically would go to chicago or unless chicago was a because it was top five protected in 23 so yeah never mind i guess yeah this would make sense for 24 because that was from the vucevic trade up one that spurs trade or that spurs pick is from the dejounte murray trade the Knicks pick is from the Kristaps trade then that Knicks pick is also from the jalen duran trade or that whole or another usman jang on draft night number six is from a james harden trade number eight the hornets via denver not sure how they had that pick um the thunder that 10 that's from the pg trade tw uh, pick 12 that's from the ad trade Next at 13 that was also uh, from the that is what also from the Usman Jang trade yeah okay so it is the NBA draft and I mean we can explore the Aaron Fox trades if we think we hit our plateau with him as a number one like we attach first round picks with him and we try to upgrade the point guard position <laughs> Damian Lillard this would be kind of funny but I'm not gonna do it I don't know I'm trying to think like like the DeMar DeRozan for Kawhi Leonard thing like something like that right like a beloved guy in Sacramento like he would be at this point but like there's always you know there's always an upgrade to be made but I don't really know who would make sense out here, honestly, out of all these point guards? Um, I mean, Garland just signed a four-year extension. Yeah, Curry's not getting traded. I mean, Trey Young, like LaMelo Ball, if he wanted out of Charlotte, but like, I don't know if we're getting better. Trey Young would be interesting, but I think this would be just really hard to figure out. So we're going to sign Rocco Prakic in. Um, and yeah, like I said, okay, Ananobi's a free agent. He could be in a sign and trade. I'm going to decline the option on Barnes, but pick it up on Chemezi. All right, so let's give Sabonis um, at 28 mil over five years. Well, 20 mil per year. I do want to sign Ananobi as well. I'm going to give him a flat rate, probably 80 mil for 20 or for four years, similar to like what Keldon Johnson got. Barnes, I'm going to let walk. Malik Monk is also a free agent, so we'll see if he makes it after moratorium. Um, do we have, we don't even at Burbank to Monk, which is kind of weird. And to be honest, I really don't know how to uh, improve this team a lot. Like, I don't really know who to move. I really didn't find any Sab Sabonis or Fox trades. You know what? I do, th I don't know. I, I kind of want to try to get Donovan Mitchell, but it's going to be really tough to pull off. Like, is there a way we could do an Ananobi Malik Monk, like a sign and trade with Ananobi, and we could somehow pick up Mitchell, who's in the final year of his deal? Um, I would also include two first round picks in here and really kind of gut my farm. Ah, they say no. And if I throw in Rocco Prakachin and I throw in Chimezi Metu, that's probably the best I could do here. Damn it. Because I don't think I want to move Fox. All right, let's just run this team back. Let's acquire maybe another big. 
Uh, Jacoperto would actually be really good. All right, so we're going to run this team back again. Um, maybe when Mitchell gets paid, he could be in a trade. But yeah, we're going to see what this team can do for one more year. All right, so yep, this is going to be the rotation. It's going to be nine man once again. System proficiency is four star balanced. Hopefully we could be better than a eight seed once again, or excuse me, a seven seed. All right, Kate Cunningham wins MVP. We are a six seed. So hey, we avoid the playing tournament this year. We get nobody on anything again. Uh, I mean, like, we'll see how far we can go as a six seed in the playoffs, but... I think we might have peaked with this core as DeJounte Murray, or God damn it, Keegan Murray, that's what I meant, falls out this year. Um, Yeah, maybe we're kind of getting into a way where Sabonis is now going to be the third best player on this team after this year. But let's see, can we beat the Portland Trailblazers in round one who now have Clint Capella and Klay Thompson? I think we should be able to beat them and we end up winning in six. Let's go. So we get our first playoff series victory in two years. Keegan Murray. Yeah, nah, I think this makes Sabonis expendable. So now we're taking on the Warriors who we did beat in the conference semifinals uh, two years ago. Let's see if we can do the same thing here in 2025. And we can, we beat him in five. Okay, we're taking on a five-seeded Rockets team. Holy crap, Keegan Murray is actually balling out. He might be our best player soon. All right, so can we beat the Houston Rockets who are a five seed? They have Kyrie Irving now. I mean, on paper, this team is much better than us. And they have Victor Wembeni, I'm off the bench. Yeah, we was in six. I mean, that's a really good team. But hey, in the first three years of this video, we have a conference, two conference finals appearances and an NBA finals appearance. I think we are like, I don't know if we're well suited or well equipped to make a big move, but we do have the 19th pick in the draft. I'm going to make this selection just because the player will have more trade value than the pick itself. And I'm going to take Dirk Kramer, a point guard. But yeah, I'm definitely going to look to move him. He's a 73 overall. Pick up the team option on Murray and Prakichin. Going to give Davion Mitchell a qualifying offer. All right, this is going to hurt our spacing a little bit, but we are going to be moving Malik Monk and OG Ananobi for Robert Williams and Aaron Gordon. Gordon, I expect to be moved, but now I'm going to move Sabonis back to the four and I'm going to make Keegan Murray a small forward. Now, I have no idea if I could pull this off, but can we also possibly flip Aaron Gordon, Prakichin, Kramer, for Levine. I will also give you my first round pick in 2027. They say no. And my first round pick in 2028. They say no. And a first round pick in 2029. Three first round picks. They still say no. Damn. Okay. So I will do this um, with Kevin Herter um, in it instead. So I think we would have to take out. Actually, I'm not going to be able to do it. Let's bring back Chemezi Metu. Yeah, Mitchell's going to get about tw uh, 80 million over four years. And we're going to make a win now move here. We're going to be trading uh, Prakichin, Kramer, and Gordon for. A 35-year-old Drew Holiday and Bobby Portis. So what I'm going to do is make Holiday a shooting guard. Um, he's going to regress a little bit, but I just need one year of elite defense. So, yeah, we do see some regression out of Holiday. Murray, because of the position change. I'm excited, though, about this team. All right, so uh, it's going to be Fox, Holiday, Murray, Sabonis, Williams, Mitchell, Portis, Herter, Pirtle. Yep, that is definitely our deepest team yet so far. Um, Portis is going to get about 20 minutes a night, 24 to Herter, 27 to Mitchell. Let's go 30 to Williams, 30... Two to Sabonis, 31 to Murray, 27 to Holiday's fine, 31 there. And I do need to get some more minutes here. So we're going to go like one less to everybody here. We'll actually go like 16 to Pirtle. Um, Holiday can get 28, 33 to Fox. And I honestly want to go 33 to Murray. I want to see what he can do as a shooter. Or I mean as like a secondary option. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And hopefully this team can win a championship. All right. So we were our best uh, at two seed this year. And Anthony Edwards averaged 37 points, won MVP. I think Luka averaged 37 last year or a couple years ago as the MVP. So that's number that number has come up a couple times in this video. We don't have anybody anywhere. Damn. I was hoping like Robert Williams would maybe get a um, all defensive team kind of honor. Here are the stats for everybody. Keegan Murray, Lettuce, and Scoring. Uh, followed by Fox, Sabonis, Mitchell, Herter, Williams, Drew Holiday. All right. So Holiday was efficient enough where it wasn't a plague to the team we are four and a half star balanced let's win a championship taking on the spurs in round one they have maxi and nick smith in the backcourt that is a fun backcourt but we are going to sweep them keegan murray is becoming a superstar for us now we're taking on the thunder who have john collins chet holmgren did they beat us a few years ago i think so or did we beat them last year something like that it's two to one three to one us don't blow a three to one lead oh my goodness we almost do we go to seven games but hey a win is a win all right, so now we're taking on the one-seeded Pelicans who we beat in the playoffs a couple years ago. But yeah, Zion is insane. Uh, they got Jamal Murray, Akongwu, Dyson Daniels off the bench at an 85 overall. I did not mean to simulate that. No, okay, we do win. Holy crap, I didn't mean to simulate the round. I wanted to take it game by game, but let's go. We're in our second NBA Finals in this video. Can I please not go 0-2 in the Finals? That would just be heartbreaking. In the final year, <sighs> gotta take on Kate Cunningham, who's very good. We do win game one. I didn't mean to do that. 
Game two, we lose. Game three, we lose. Game four, we win. Come on, simulate the round. Please tell me we won, guys. Yes! The Sacramento Kings win the 2026 NBA Championship. And De'Aaron Fox, homegrown talent, is your finals MVP. Either way, though, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. That was nice that we were able to win it with Sabonis, Fox, Mitchell, Keegan Murray, um, Kevin Herter kept a lot of the core. Even Tremezi Metsu got a couple years for us in the rotation. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, feel free to drop a thumbs up. I love you guys. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.